everyone, this is Mariah Ginto with another open house tour. Today we are at 3508 Bolton Road Northwest in the beautiful community of Brentwood. But before we get into it, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and hit that little bell in order to get notifications for whenever I post a new video. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok, so make sure to hit that little follow button in order to get insider info about all things Calgary Real Estate. So today we are in the community of Brentwood at this beautiful bungalow home. So this bungalow home behind me has actually been completely renovated from its 1962 build to a new 2023 look. So everything that you see in this home has actually been renovated down to the studs. The outside of the home features James Hardy board siding, cultured stone, as well as a wood frame and an asphalt roof. It also comes with this beautiful cedar deck that has matching soffits. So now let's head on inside. So as we make our way inside, like all other bungalows, it's about a one floor. So it has a main floor and then goes straight down into a basement. So this home, when you walk in, you are greeted by a living room that flows perfectly into the kitchen. Now this home is accompanied with a beautiful vaulted ceiling in the living room area. So the vaulted ceiling is actually spray foam insulated and has tongue and groove wood beams. Now this home has more of an industrial feel to it, so a more industrial interior design. This is kind of emphasized by that beam work as well as these brick accents that are repeated throughout the home. But the thing that really brings it all together, a bit of, a bit of cohesiveness, is this three-sided freestanding cast iron gas fireplace, which is remote controlled. That took me a really long time to memorize and a few takes, but that's exactly how it's described. So it really helps to bring in a cohesiveness with that industrial, industrial interior feel. Now the living room flows perfectly into the kitchen area. So all of the appliances are updated stainless steel appliances. The fridge actually has three different tiers. So you have this refrigerator part, um, the freezer part, and then as well as some added storage, which could either be a freezer part or just a refrigerator, actually a refrigerator area. Now, what is really beautiful is this herringbone subway tile backsplash that is repeated throughout the kitchen. And like you guys know, I absolutely love gas range stoves. So now we have another gas range stove, but this one has some added, um, has some added wow to it with this heating plate on top. So this is really great. Uh, I highly recommend gas range stoves, but if you don't want to do a gas range stove, that's also okay. I just am a huge fan. Now the upstairs has three bedrooms and two baths. You have this secondary bathroom that again has that subway tile as a finish for the showers. And then you have this extended, you have this extended vanity um, mirror that happens. So this really adds a bit more of a luxury feel and having a large mirror in any room really makes the room look bigger. Now you have your secondary and third bedroom here that have a closet as well as all of the windows in this home have been updated to double pane windows, which is really, really nice. 1962 windows don't hold as much heat in, actually let the cold in and let a lot of moisture in. So I highly recommend if you have older windows to really update them, you will save a lot of money on heating costs uh, in the long run. Now, as you make your way into the master bedroom, you have this vanity area that has vanity to ceiling mirrors, as well as pot lights, which add a little bit more of a modern feel. Then as you make your way into the master ensuite, you have a nice tub shower combination. Once again, you have the subway tile finish and updated vanity area with once again, that extended mirror that you don't regularly see. And then you have quite a spacious master bedroom with a very large closet area. Now, as you can see, this home is very, very updated. Um, they have pretty much 
changed everything in this house down to the light fixtures. So you have, once again, those repeated pot lights and then newer light fixtures throughout the home. Now you have this pantry. So you have, ex you have extra storage for whatever, probably food. And then this door actually goes into the backyard area and then down the stairs to that basement. So this home does have a single detached garage and quite a large backyard area that turns that corner of that fence. So you do have a double, or sorry, you have a single detached garage as well as a parking pad. Um, I'm not too sure if you could see it past the fence, but you have a parking pad. So you have technically two parking spots and then a very large backyard area. As we move down in the basement, the basement flooring is luxury vinyl plank. This is actually the laundry area as well as your furnace um, and where you find your furnace and your water tank. These have all been updated as well from 1962, which is really, really great. Um, once again, furnace care and hot water tank care. A hot water tank usually lasts between 10 and 15 years. A furnace can last up to 25 years, but you do have to clean your furnace every two years to really give it a long life. This bathroom is still being a little bit updated. As you can see, there is no faucet, so can't really use this guy. But then you have this um, more traditional mirror as well as a beautiful walk-in shower. And what's really nice is the finishes are quite different as you can see from the upstairs bathroom. So you have that brick finish giving it that industrial feel as well as a stone flooring for the shower. So I feel like I'm in an industrial, industrial house in Mexico because that floor always reminds me of Mexico for some reason. Now you have a, another bedroom in the basement as well as this very very large living room area that wraps around this corner into here now you, this huge white wall right here is actually going to be developed into a wet bar as you can see from this cute little picture that they have there so they're doing large updates here with a it looks like a brick finish as well as a wet bar for entertaining uh entertaining i was going to combine entertainment and enter entertaining so i said entertaining but it's just entertaining uh, <laughs> so this is a beautiful uh basement so you have a lot of room to do whatever you would like once again that industrial finish and industrial feel is brought into the home with again this brick finish now what's really really nice is that with bungalows with older homes you do get a lot of space you do get a lot of acreage in comparison to the newer homes in calgary like those two stories but the thing is is if you want to kind of give it more of a glow up you do have to put quite a bit of money into updating the home but once again you do have more of those traditional builds and larger acreage um, square footage as well as square footage in the home if you were to decide to update just a bungalow. Now, like you guys know, we are going to do a recap of the home with my handy dandy iPad. So, just gotta open it up. Okay, so let's recap this home. So this home is located in the community of Brentwood. There is a total of 1,100 square feet with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. This home has been renovated right down to the studs, but still has some charm from its original build. This home features marble kitchen countertops, herringbone subway tile backsplashes, custom steel cabinets, a wet bar in progress, and a jodel three-side freestanding cast iron gas fireplace that is remote controlled. Um, I've never had a tongue twister in one of these videos, but that sure was one. Um, this home has been com has had a complete facelift. However, it still has its original charm and is in a great suburban neighborhood. 
Now if you or anyone you know is interested in a completely renovated bungalow in a conveniently located suburban community, make sure to call, email, text, or DM me in order to view this home. Now my question to you is, are you ready to invest in yourself? If you are, let's work together in order to get one step closer towards building your future. I'm Mariah Ginto and I'll be back to discover Calgary with you soon. Bye!